this whole discourse around the election has talked about, you know, the harassment of Clinton supporters yeah. for various reasons. What we're seeing here is that a lot of the Sanders supporters, especially, you know, there aren't that many of us. In yeah. I mean, it says something that you have to talk to a guy like me who doesn't have a, you know, recurring at one of these major outlets just mm -hmm. to get a perspective like mine. Mm -hmm. Um it says something that, you know, we're the ones who are putting our jobs at risk and things like that, most certainly. Um, most of the Sanders supporters I know right now, their conversations are about, uh, you know, am I going to be able to say this? Am I going to be able to make right. this argument? Are they going to call my boss? Uh, you know, there's a reason why I don't use my face in this interview yeah. and why I write under a pen name. And it's because these guys, we already had one guy try to get me fought and me fired. Yeah. Uh, over this week for uh, defending Matt, and I've had that happen a lot. So this is, you know, there. It, it, we talk about online harassment on one hand, but the the amazing amount of real life political and economic pressure that Sanders' young supporters are under while these incredibly wealthy, uh, powerful, influential uh, people like Joan Walsh and Neera Tanden are, you know, basically saying whatever they want on the internet without repercussions. Uh, that, that to us, has been the big dynamic. Anyway, um, yeah, I guess the last one I'd make, I'm Carl Bayer. Uh, you can find my stuff at carlbayer.com. Uh, that's C A R L B E E I E R dot com, and I'm also on Twitter. Uh, you know, you, you retweet me all the time, so yeah. I'm sure that your readers will see me around on there. Yeah, uh, man, I, I massacred your last name. I said Carl Bezier. <laughs> so, <laughs> Carl... Every, everybody does that. Everybody. Does does that very Swedish name so it's okay. no problem at all problem at all not a problem listen I want to ask you one more thing so um and okay. this is this is for me this is for me because you know I'm I'm one of those guys who has a, a totally different life outside of this because you know it's got I've got to provide a certain lifestyle for my family so you and Matt um you guys are working full-time jobs in the day and then where yeah. wherever and whenever you can you go out and you write these amazing pieces on not just on Bernie Sanders but on the data in general fighting against poverty um, so you guys are really you know working the day and running the revolution at night <laughs> yeah we're I mean we're, we're basically just nerds and you know we'll go home like there are times that I'll be hanging out with uh, Matt and Liz and we'll just be sitting there with computers and messing with spreadsheets and stuff like that so we, we you know a lot of times we just don't have a life and this is this is fun for us like yeah. we like sort of looking into this stuff and then writing about it so that's yeah that's our thing well you know what thanks you encourage me so so the fact that i just got <laughs> off work about two three hours ago uh and came here that just puts it in perspective i'm not the only one out here grinding and hustling like that so hey man call carl bayer thanks so much for coming on now listen next time we talk we're going to talk about something uh just about some policy about some politics and hopefully we won't have any more oh, sure. uh, negative things to discuss Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks a lot. It's great talking to hey, you. Hey, my pleasure. You have a good evening.